Elgin Leary in the backfield with Bryce Young. Remember, they hooked up against Arkansas on a touchdown that basically won that game. Leary in motion. The throw goes the other way. Mitchie's in. Alabama wins in four overtimes. The Crimson Tide pull it off in the fourth quarter and four extra sessions. Ness, it's been a matchup all game, and Mechie runs a beautiful route. You can't do it any better than this. Watch this one-on-one -on -one route down here. You can't cover this. Patience, patience, fake in. Got him. Thought he was going to run the slant, and he beats 23. They've been eye-to-eye -eye all game. Two all-conference performers the entire afternoon. Nick Saban's the winning coach again with Jamie. Coach, we talked at halftime about how challenging this game was going for you guys. But in the end, how much pride do you have in the execution you just saw from your team? <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't put it into words. I mean, for the guys that keep fighting like they did and to have the 90 some yard drive to tie the game up to get it in overtime. Uh, but I tell you what, the, the players are so proud of the way they competed in the game and fought. We said that's what we wanted to do at halftime, and I couldn't be prouder of them. I mean, it was unbelievable. You addressed your team several times during some very emotional moments during the game. What were you saying to them in those moments? Well, I was really just trying to get our guys to just focus on executing. You know, I think they were a little bit out of sorts, and I could kind of see it in their eyes. So I just wanted them to go play. I told them to have fun at halftime. I said, just go have fun, man. Quit worrying about the result, and let's just go have fun. At what point did that become fun for you? <laughs> right when we caught the ball. <laughs> I'll let you go celebrate, Coach. Congratulations. Right, thank you. Bryce Young is standing right here, guys. Bryce. Can I, can I just check your pulse, man? Does that number ever change? I mean, this game, you were on the two-yard line at the end of regulation. Honestly, what, it, what was that game like for you? It was crazy. It was crazy. When, you, you know, when you're playing in the Iron Bowl, you know, what else are you supposed to expect? But um, throughout all the ups and downs, um, even in that last drive, I have so much faith in my guys. My, my confidence never wavered. Um, we've been working hard since since <laughs> since the off season, and um, you know, really, when we got the ball at 98, whatever it was, I was kind of happy about it. Um, I knew it was going to be a great moment for us. Um, I have all the faith in the world, my guys and the coaching staff. So I'm happy I was able to lean on them and we were able to come out successful. What was what was the most challenging part of this day? Uh, you know, we definitely had some adversity that we had to hit, and I think the biggest thing was making sure that we were, you know, that we combated it together. That was the biggest thing was making sure that we were all on the same page whether there's ups or downs. You know, we had some issues offensively, but for us to come together and to really sort those things out together, that was the biggest thing for us. Hey, go celebrate the first overtime Iron Bowl win ever. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yep.